Good morning, New York. Privateer FX coming at you, 17th of May. We're trading course short uh, Euro Yen. We sold uh, between 50 and 80 this morning. Looked a little dicey up there at 85, but worked out. We've taken a fair bit back now and have a pretty decent average. We're just going to be trading this on the short side. Euro dollar was a little bit more straightforward. Uh, you know, we, we really stopped up there at 38 <coughs> and couldn't really get through that level. Again, trading core short based on uh, you know the yield, which has come off its highs. It was at 311, uh, 312 even today. But uh, and then also the uh, Italian story, which is. Uh, Pericoloso, uh, for those of you who speak Italian. Going forward now, uh, it's the same, more of the same. We're core short euros. We're also core long dollar czar. Um, we do think dollar czar is going to trade 1276 uh, tomorrow by the close. So core long is kind of the way to go here. Bit choppy that dollars are, so we have a really, uh, shall we say, uh, minimal position there. But still, it's working out and allows us to be a little bit sloppier with our uh, our stop losses and our ranges because we're not risking. Because we, on a dollar amount, we just can't risk a lot on dollars are. It's just too, it's too ropey. Uh, anyway. That's that. Stocks kept easing left this morning, but 27.19 now. Not doing anything. Um, as far as new levels, new charts, we got this NAFTA non-agreement happening today. They're going to agree that they're going to have to push this forward, but can't help but have a look at this uh, dollar cat here, 127.50, just on a pure technical setup. This looks quite interesting. I have no idea what would be driving the dollar down like that. I don't think crude is going to shoot shoot the moon today. But oftentimes it, you can't really see the stories coming. Maybe it's some sort of positive NAFTA story, which would be insane. Uh, but 127.50 looks like a, an interesting sort of line in the sand in dollar CAD. We may uh, hit some bids. Uh, right around there if we get down there and of course cable on 3460 still a big number we traded down to 51 on Tuesday so you can really you really kinda wanna wait for the waterfall below 50 but this has been sort of insane about this bullshit about pushing back the economic union past 2021 and then May said no we're not doing it I mean England man limp biscuit I tell you what that place is it's as broken as America these days who would have guessed it Anglo-Saxons on their knees anyway 134.50 uh is sort of your downside pivot below that it gets quite bearish as you can see on the chart it's just sideways until 136.10 or 134.50 so we're just keeping an eye on this but in general the money to be made today I think is going to be in, continue to be core short euro yen euro dollar be nimble don't marry anything try and get your averages as high as possible um, and Good luck. I'll see you guys at the European Open tomorrow. Bye, 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 bye.